Hey guys, we're back. Let's uh, talk about Orange Whip. I remember this gentleman from last year. He came in wearing orange pants. But today he said he's going to be a little conservative. <laughs> That's about as conservative as you just go out with the orange shirt. Good seeing you, Jim. Great Hacken to see Bird. you, Jack. Thank you. How you been? I've been great. Been busy. I remember you from last year. I still remember like the old exercises you were talking about. You get in your regular stance and you want to warm up a little bit. And yeah, multiple reps. It's, it's a way to stretch out. I always refer back to the Karate Kid movie. If you do multiple reps of something, you're going to get good at it. Huh. The Karate Kid. <laughs> the Jackie Chan? Or the Pat Morita version. Oh, old Pat school. Morita, yeah, oh, going, yeah. Going old school. Yeah, for sure. Well, how did you get into the golf game? And then we'll get into the history of the orange whip. You bet. Uh, neighbor, my family, I'm from a family of nine kids. I'm number eight of nine kids. Nobody played golf, but some neighbor kids played, and they brought me out when I was 12 years old. After three times going to the public golf course, I knew I liked this game. Uh -huh. So uh, I just started playing every day, riding my bicycle to the public course and fell in love with it. And just took off with it and actually I left North Dakota after high school and I went to Arizona State and it was a walk-on the same year Phil Mickelson was a freshman. How about that? So I got to play with Phil for a couple years at ASU and then I, I didn't want to leave Arizona State but uh, I wanted to play more regularly so I went to Oregon State and that's where I finished. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. North Dakota boy. Yeah, exactly. I was just there actually for my 30-year high school reunion this last weekend and that was, uh, that was, time's really flying by to be... 30 years ago. Yeah, it goes by way too quickly. Yeah, oh. Way too quickly. Well, the inspiration for the orange whip, I mean, would so after, this come to you in a dream? Well, in a sense, I, uh, I tried to make it as a professional golfer. I tried to make it onto the tour. Did not make it on tour, but one of my good friends who made it to the tour asked me to caddy for him. So while caddying for him, I started watching these guys, and it, it didn't look nearly as complicated as I was making it. They look to be in perfect rhythm, almost like they're swinging a ball on the end of a chain. So I thought, I'm going to I'm going to invent something that makes people feel this ball on the end of the chain huh. swing and then show it to my students because I was also teaching on the side. So I started messing around in a garage and putting things together I bought at Home Depot. Next thing you know, I had an orange whip and it was and it and honestly it was just to help my teaching. I wasn't thinking about it to to sell as a product, but everyone kept saying, "Hey Jimmy, I want to buy this thing from you." So I said, I'm going to start a business. Hmm. So I moved here about almost nine years ago now to Greenville, South Carolina, and started the business, and it's been going up ever since. How about that? Yeah, it's been fun. Why'd you choose Greenville? I had a brother who was an engineer who lived in Greenville with his family, and a sister whose husband's a professor at Wofford University in Spartanburg, and they all had kids, and I needed employees to build these things, so... I gotcha. So I moved you in. Tapped and into like a low cost labor force. Exactly right. <laughs> so it was in a garage essentially. Exactly. I started the first two and a half years we built them in the garage. How about that? Yeah. Man, that's awesome. I love stories like that. Yeah, it's been fun. It. Uh, I mean, it. I didn't. I didn't sleep a lot early on because I was always building them and then I was always promoting them. So my whole day was orange whip. But it's worked out for me now. It's been wonderful. Well, I, I visited the website few days ago and uh, I saw that there's different products than just the whip now yes we well with the orange whip we have four sizes okay. and we have a you know it's based really on length and we have the longest version which for you and I would be like a driver we have a mid-size which would be like a long iron for you and I but for a shorter golfer or maybe a female golfer or a senior golfer would be their driver we also have the compact which we use for short game but even more specifically it's great for indoor use. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hit the chandelier or a lamp, so you use no. the compact. We have a junior version, which is lighter. It's got a smaller grip and easier for the kids to handle. And then we have the orange peel. It's a balanced platform. It looks kind of like a boogie board. It's a big, wide base. It's curved, so when you stand on it, it feels like you're standing at the bottom of a nine-foot sphere. Okay. And when you're in there, it's going to center your core and make it easier for you to rotate. But what's unique is, you can move your feet and I can create a downhill lie, I can create an uphill lie, I can create side hill lies. So in the comfort of my okay, home or garage, I, gotcha. I can work on every lie angle I'm going to find out on the golf course, but at home. And then finally we have the orange whip putting wand, which is a putting trainer. It's the same flexible shaft in the putting wand, so it's going to teach you rhythm. But what's unique about it, it's got a round face. Not quite as round as this, but the same idea. And if you can hit center to center, kind of like playing pool, the ball's going to roll the direction of the momentum of the putter head, 
So it will teach an individual to swing in rhythm and make center contact. So when they go back to their putter, it's going to be much easier to use. Huh. Yeah, it's done well. I mean, it's, I'm trying to cover all the bases of golf. I'm a, I'm a passionate golfer. I'm still a scratch player. And every day I want to get better. What are you doing here at the tournament this week? We're just taking part in the registration and some of the other activities just to kind of introduce the Orange Whip products to the players because if they're going to come to Family Golf Week, they're passionate golfers. That's who we're looking for. I believe every golfer needs an Orange Whip, but the passionate golfers really need it. It gives them a chance to stay loose. It gives them the rhythm they need for the day. And it's good for the body. It's a good way to stretch the body and keep, uh, keep comfortable. Well, for someone who just casually will visit the website like I did, you're going to learn so much about the product. You're going to, great website. I mean, it's easy to navigate. The videos are fast and easy, and then pow. Thank you very much. We've worked very hard on that because in this day easy and age, to navigate. Yeah, it's, it's good to get people uh, to learn more about it. It's a simple device, but there is some things you need to learn to make, a, make it more useful for you. Well, good luck to you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate Great that, Great American Jack. story. Just yeah. started out in the garage. Thank you. Best appreciate of luck it. to you. I love it. The Thank orange you. Orange whip. Hey, <laughs> we'll be right back with more right after this.